And now let's take a look back at some of the gourmet delights of 2012, including a cupcake ATM, American-style diners selling fast food in Baghdad, a German restaurant offering a full English breakfast, and more. In the wake of the Queen's Jubilee celebrations and the 2012 Olympic Games, a London-themed restaurant in Berlin started to promote English cuisine. Here at this restaurant in Berlin, a classic full English breakfast is frying away on the griddle. Eggs, tomatoes, mushrooms, and a healthy serving of bacon, all fried in butter before being served up with bread and baked beans. For those with more adventurous taste buds, Cambodia might just have something in store for you. Eating insects first became widespread in Cambodia when people were starving under the Khmer Rouge in the mid-1970s. Today, the practice has become very popular. Here, crickets, cockroaches, and spiders are fried in crushed garlic, sugar, salt, and chilies and served in a small plastic bag like a packet of crisps. If your stomach isn't strong enough for crickets, it might turn at the thought of tarantulas. But fried tarantulas have become such a favored snack in one area of Cambodia that the spiders have been almost wiped out. Now, thousands of tarantulas are being imported into Skun to meet the daily demand for the eight-leg delicacies. Back in London with the Olympics just around the corner, the capital's street food vendors were gearing up for the influx of visitors. Dishes from Spain, France, South Africa, Ethiopia, Poland, Turkey, and East Asia were all on the menu. Street food in downtown Baghdad is perhaps even more exciting. Fish, called mazguf, is gutted, salted, split, and cooked on a large circular wood-burning barbecue. The fish is staked around the circular perimeter and smokes gently in the street. This traditional way of grilling fish dates back centuries. In Beverly Hills, an ATM delivering cupcakes is on a roll, with people queuing up to buy the sweet treats in the early hours of the morning. Crowds can also be found purchasing the individually boxed dessert all night long. September saw the annual Cake and Bake Show in London, and cupcakes were back on the menu. These 50 Shades of Grey cupcakes were one of the hottest design trends exciting baking enthusiasts. But baking in Nigeria has more serious implications. Scientists in Nigeria made cassava, a staple food in Africa, more nutritious to stamp out hunger across the continent. The root of the plant is pounded to make a type of dough, which can be eaten by hand with soups and stews. After these stomach-churning sweets, how about something you wouldn't mind putting in your mouth? Christmas in Italy is not complete without the traditional cake called panettone. It originated in the city of Milan hundreds of years ago, and now there are scores of regional variations. Flour, yeast, butter, eggs, sugar, raisins, and candied fruits are the main ingredients of the traditional Milanese panettone. Christy Skull, CCTV.